Hello gamers, it's Windermute here from Grind This Game. And in this episode, we're doing Jeremiah's Survival School. Uh, and the first uh, one I picked was uh, crafting fishing tackle, and then we gotta catch some fish. And then we gotta bring the fish back to Jeremiah's cabin. So right now we're just outside the uh, camp office, which is right there, and then up to, the, uh, up to our left is the derailment and then back way, this way is the tunnel so on the map it's we're kind of right here so we're just outside of the camp office and if you don't if you don't know how to get here you and you're starting in the trappers homestead you basically follow a, a line along the mountains there's a range of mountains that blocks you in here so you just keep those to your right and follow along and then you'll eventually get to the rail railway and then from the railway you'll just make a left and head along the railway until you see the camp office on your right which is right there and the camp office is pretty nice it's got a couple stoves beds quite a few supplies I've been here already a few times uh, doing other quests and you can store meat out uh, once you've cooked meat you can store it out in front of the office as long as no wolves see you uh, drop it it'll stay frozen and uh, won't lose any condition. Same with fish and, and any other kind of meat. I've already uh, put some down here as you can see. Fresh wolf meat. So you'll see the condition's 96. It's been here quite a while so. So we already got to the camp office and we found the fishing gear. It was basically on the uh, crafting table inside here so I'll just quickly show you. You may either find it or you might, uh, you can just make it as well. But often there'll be fish hooks and fishing tackle here. To make fishing hooks, you need scrap metal, which you can find all over the place. There might even be some in this, in this place here. And then line, you need uh, cured gut. So if you find a dead deer, you can harvest the gut out of it. Or you can kill a deer or a wolf or even a rabbit and get the guts out of it. They've given you some scrap metal already, right here. Now if you have really warm clothing, um, you can go out to the fishing huts. Uh, you'll probably want to bring quite a bit of firewood though, because you want to keep, there's a stove in the little fishing hut, so you want to take enough firewood to last maybe eight hours of fishing. And you want to bring enough food and water so that you can keep yourself fed while you're out there. You can also cook fish when you're out there, but for this task we don't want to waste any of our fish. We want to bring it all back to Jeremiah. So I'm going to bring two firewood, fir firewood, which lasts quite a while. Some reclaimed wood, a bunch of sticks, and some wolf meat. You also need a knife or a hatchet to cut open the ice. And you'll often find wolves out here, so you gotta be keep your eyes open. So depending on your clothing and how warm it is, um, you may need to start a fire in this little hut, especially if you're gonna fish into the night. You can sleep um, in these fishing huts if you have, if you have a bedroll and it's warm enough. I mean, I think there's f four or five hish fish huts on the on the lake here. I usually just go to this one that's closest, though. I think one or two of them have a little door that you can close, and I'm not sure if that makes it warmer, but... And even if it doesn't have a door, uh, wolves can't get in, so if there's a wolf on your ass, just run into one of these little huts and <laughs> you should be safe. Here we are. It does take a while to break the ice. And it will freeze over if you leave it too long. So you want to basically drink and eat up before you fish if you're going to fish for a long time. So I'm going to eat... Uh, 
I'm gonna eat a full wolf flank. So here we are. Let's fish. And I'm gonna fish for six hours. Oh, we got one. This gear is starting to slow me down. Another one. It's getting dark out, so it might start to get cold out. Getting quite a lot. There we go. It's still warm enough. Not sure why I feel so tired. So I'm gonna drink up. And we're not quite exhausted yet. So we're gonna fish a bit more. We can fish another three hours maybe. Now if you start to get too cold, you can hit escape on PC to cancel out of fishing so that you don't die, because you can actually die fishing. You can freeze to death if it's too cold. So now it's getting cold. And we're exhausted now, so... And we're so overburdened we can't even move. <laughs> so that's a pretty good haul that we got. We're 63 uh, kilograms, so... We want to cook up these fish, but we're super exhausted, so... Let's get a fire going. Looks like we're spending the night. This is why you want to bring enough firewood to kind of spend the night. So we've added enough wood for eight and a half hours here. That'll keep us warm at night. We can still barely move. Yeah, the fish gets lighter as you cook it, so it's probably worthwhile cooking to get back to Jeremiah. But he, I don't think he cares whether it's cooked or not. He just wants five kilograms. But I'm gonna cook it just in case I want to eat some as well. So since we're exhausted, I'm gonna sleep for. I guess seven, maybe eight hours. Oh, I got a fish hook here. Oh yeah, and you can get lamp oil from some of the fish, which is kind of nice. There's some lamp oil. Not very much, just a tiny amount, but... So we got lots of fish on us now. They're all cooked up. Now you want to be careful when you leave here, because there could be wolves, and you're probably going to be have those three wavy lines on you, which means wolves will smell you from far away and attack. So that wolf right there might come at us. Yep, he's coming at us. So you want to drop a decoy, like some guts, and shoot him in the head if you got a gun. And scare them off. I don't actually have that many bullets left, so it was, I want to conserve my ammo. Looks like this wolf's coming back already. I could eat anything. So we'll drop another decoy. And we want to shoot him right in the head. There we go. We'll want to come back and harvest him later. But not right now. His pelt will last a long time. And the next quest I want to do for Jeremiah is the hunting quest, so we don't want to kill everything on this lake. 
We want to save our ammo. So I think I only have one shot left. I also have a flare gun, which you can use to attack wolves. So we have enough daylight left, so I'm going to drop some of the fish here. I'm going to keep three for Jeremiah and drop a bunch in the snow here, and that will preserve them. And I'm actually going to eat one because I'm starving. And then we'll head back to Jeremiah. Actually, I'm going to go in this building and then out of it just to save our game. Back to Jeremiah, so just back to the rail, rail line here. And then take a left and head all the way down the rail line. There is a shorter way back if you take a right earlier, but because it's so foggy, I'm just going the foolproof way. So we're, we're at the south end of the map now, the railway, which is down here. And we're just going to follow this rock wall along until we get to the Trapper's Homestead. So we take a right, and we just keep this uh, rock wall on our left. Make sure no wolves get you. You'll pass some birch trees on the way here. Then if you head up the hill to the right, you should be able to see down to the uh, trapper's cabin. So that tree is Max's last stand, so keep that on your right and just keep going straight. And there it is over there, the trapper's cabin. Home sweet home. So once you put uh, at least 5 kilograms of fish in there, your journal should update and then the quest should be complete. So you just want to go inside and talk to Jeremiah. Next up we're going to do survival school clothing. And for this quest we have to go up to the lookout tower where he left some skins drying and then we got to repair his coat. So you're going to need sewing kits and you probably have some by now. We have his coat here which is really heavy so we'll have to drop some gear. But you'll want at least one uh, sewing kit. Probably 100%. I don't think it needs to be 100% but I'm gonna bring two just because I have two on me. Now you can build up trust with Jeremiah by giving him it items like sticks and sticks are the easiest to find and give to him. It's a bit buggy the way it works. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But you can see all the different values you get for giving him sticks, cloth, old man beard, wound dressing, pork and beans, and the best uh, you can give him is the fresh deer hide, which is 50 trust. And you can actually view your trust values under, uh, if you go into your journal and click this little face icon. So our current trust with him is 58. And you can see which things get unlocked at various trust values. So right now, uh, I when I got to 50, I unlocked uh, the supply cache. And then there's other things you can unlock, like a uh, blueprint for improvised hatchet, uh, and other various things. You can kind of go through it. The deerskin pants are really nice, and deerskin boots. And the snow shelter is pretty cool. Out of sticks and cloth, you can make a shelter. And then he, the, the final one, he wants to go destroy some of his old letters. So once we do all the quests with him, which gives some trust, I'll go around and collect some sticks and try to get up to 375 trust. So the lookout tower is 
just uh, over by the camp office. So we're going to go all the way back to the camp office, basically following the same route. I usually just try to keep this building on my left and follow a straight line until I hit the the uh, railway, turn left the railway and then just follow it up until the camp office. There's a few mountains that get, kind of get in your way but you follow it generally a straight line and you'll get there. And once these rocks are on your right hand side you just keep them on your right and make a straight line. So we're at the railway so we just want to take a left and go straight down until we see the camp office on our right. So here we are with the derailment ahead of us and the camp office is just off to the right here and we can see the forestry lookout up there there it is up there. Now since it takes a while to get up there and this in the day is kind of getting long what I'm gonna do is spend the night in the camp office and then go at first light up to because it takes a while to get up there you have to go up this long winding road I just want to do it uh, at fresh dawn uh, when we're all fed and watered and got supplies. So I'll fast forward till to after I spend the night here. So it's pretty darn cold out, but uh, it's it's daylight and it's just after morning. So we're gonna head up to the forestry lookout now. You want to bring uh, at least a couple liters of water, maybe a piece of firewood or two in case you have to start a fire because it's a long check up there and you want to go when you have good visibility because otherwise you could get lost. So once you've come up from the camp office to the railway you just want to keep going straight into this. There's a path up ahead here. And this this will connect you to a long winding road up to the tower, up to the lookout. I think I might have turned up uh, turned up too early because here's the actual road here. So if I take a look down here. Actually, that looks like it's correct. Yeah. So I I went the right way. So you continue on up this road. It winds around the mountain and finally gets up to the tower. So here we are at the steps that lead up to the lookout. And here we are at the forestry lookout. And it sounds really cold. Feels like minus 26. It's all it's almost always really cold up here. So that's why you want to have warm clothes, uh, bring fire starting things. And depending on your clothing, you might not even be warm enough up in here. You might need to start a fire in the stove to stay warm at night. So here we are. And you don't load into the into this building like most other buildings. There's just a door that opens and closes. So it's actually minus five here, but with our clothing it's eleven, so. There's the cured black bear hide, which we, I guess we need to. This stuff will come in handy. Fix uh, Jeremiah's coat. Let's try to repair it. Hour and forty-two minutes. Okay, let's try this. Chance of success, a hundred percent. There, it's all repaired. Now we gotta take it back to him. But because it's uh, cold and the day's almost over, I'm gonna spend the night here. I'll probably break down some of these uh, 
benches and stuff just to pass the time. Maybe boil some water. Stockpile some food here. But I'll save you guys all that because it's pretty boring stuff. Oh, one thing I noticed uh, is that there's a, a note here. And it's, uh, it's a map to a supply cache. So let's see. Let's see if it's on the map. Oh, there it is. So it's one of the Mystery Lake supply caches. Cool. And it's right by the uh, rail tunnel on the way back to the Trapper's Homestead. So I'll save that for another video. I have a video series on all the caches, so if you want to instructions on how to get that. It should be pretty pretty easy, but if you want instructions for that, just check out my uh, my other playlist on all the secret caches. Now there's also a broken lockbox in here that requires Hank's lockbox key, which I haven't seen yet, but I'll try to find it. Oh, and there's some socks hiding on the bed there. So I kind of wanted I kind of wanted to wait for the fog to pass to show you the view here, but I could eat anything right now. Doesn't seem to be going away. So we're just gonna head back down to Jeremiah's. So here we are back at the trapper's cabin. We uh, got food poisoning along the way and we're exhausted. But we got uh, Jeremiah's coat all fixed up and we're gonna turn it, give it back to him. And get some well-deserved rest. Okay, that updated our journal. So next quest. So we've done fishing, we've done clothing, now we gotta do hunting. We need to go and find a uh, track shoot and butcher a deer. And we need 10 kilograms of meat. Uh, put in his container. And on the map that's uh, we're right down here in the trapper's homestead and we need to go up to this kind of frozen creek area. So I was thinking of going this way and along the railroad and then back in but I'm gonna just try to head directly through the mountains this way. We'll see if we can get there. Well the weather is a total disaster today so can't see anything. We're gonna wait until this blows over before we go try to do the quest because I won't be able to find anything in this weather. So I'll melt some snow and twiddle our thumbs until this blows over. So it got a bit nicer out. Um, so I'm gonna head out. Got some daylight left. We don't really have any food on us. So I might head back to the camp office if I can't find food here. But I just want to see if I can get to this spot this way instead of along the railway. Because it is, we are going out of our way a bit. If we go all, all the way over the railway and then up and then over. I've never actually been back in this way before, so Let's see what we can find. And I realized we only have one shot left on our rifle to kill a deer with, but we ha do have some uh, flare gun flares, which I think we can use to kill animals. I know they work on wolves, so. Now I think I'm heading just this way, kind of north from the cabin. Got to keep an eye out for wolves. At least it's warm out. It's it's still really kind of snowy, but it's not cold. I, 
think this rock wall along the left here is the leftmost part of this zone. Ah, calm down a bit. Nice. Some bunnies over here. Quite a few little bunnies. Oh, here's the okay, here's the frozen river. And our quest updated. So we found the hunting grounds. Now we just gotta kill some deer. A lot of deer here. Okay, I'm gonna put some bunny traps down while we're here. Some snares. I think they take a full day to trap rabbits, but... Uh, I just remembered I want to clean my rifle. Oh, it's at 100%, so... Because the more maintained the rifle is, the better your chances are. Unnamed pond, okay. Oh wow, they ran away already. Not even that close. Gonna have to sneak up on them. And we kinda really need a kill shot because can't go running after them. He hasn't seen us yet. We're being very sneaky. And he's stationary, so I'm gonna try to take this shot. I'm gonna go for the body even though head headshot's better. Oh we got him in one shot. Wow. Lucky lucky. It was very lucky. What's the temperature like? Still pretty warm. Wow, he's got nine kilograms of meat on him. I'm gonna do it in little bits because I don't want to freeze to death. Damn it. So hungry. Let's put all this meat in the box for Jeremiah. It says it was only 9.2. Did we miss one? I guess I guess one deer is not quite enough. Oh, we. It says we have five five things of ammo here. I didn't even notice this. I thought we were out of ammo. So we will take the hunting rifle and try to get another deer. Oh, there's a wolf out there hunting the deer. Might not even have to kill any deer. Can save some ammo if we can run the deer into the wolf. And then just kill the wolf. I think that wolf over there is gonna get the deer. Some cabins down there. Oh, it's a wolf right on our ass. What the heck? I shot him right in the face. Back to the task at hand. After that wolf rudely interrupted us. Down in one. Here, wolf crying out there. There's another deer up there. I think that's the one the wolf got. Could have saved herself a bullet, maybe. Let's get a fire going. 
cook up some of this meat. Might be able to use that cabin actually. Let's go quickly see what that cabin is. Got some beds. Some fuel. And some wood if we break this stuff down. This could be really useful. Probably should have harvested that deer first. This thing feels like an empty pit. What do we have back here? A little outhouse? <laughs> Where's our deer? Deer go. The wolf couldn't have eaten that whole deer. No way. No way did he eat that whole deer. No way. So the wolf ate our whole deer, but we only need one piece, so there's one over here we can harvest. So after harvesting our second deer, we're back, encountered a wolf along the way, and we, a wolf ate an entire deer that we killed, which is not really realistic, but in 30 minutes. Anyway, so we're gonna put our food in here and hopefully that's enough for Jeremiah. Nine point two. Didn't like that. You gotta be kidding me. Now this is either not working because the wolf killed it or because it's cooked. Can't tell. I but, could eat anything. But it's not working. I'm not I'm not pleased. Because we have to go back and do this again. For a third time. Well, after killing three deer, here we are for the final turn in, I hope. Okay, looks like this quest is broken. Finally it worked. Let's see what Jeremiah has to say. Harvestable plants, that's the fourth one. Okay, the final quest, we gotta find some mushrooms, old man's beard, rose hips, and cattail stalks. Okay, I'm over by this um, building that's halfway between the trapper's cabin and the railroad. And it has some rose hips and it has some mushrooms. And has a stove, which is nice if we need it. Can you eat trees? 
Now it doesn't say in the quest that you need to put it in his bin, but I'm assuming you do because the quest isn't updating as I pick these things. Now let's see if the uh, quest updates if I put the rose hips in there. Are the mushrooms first, let's see. Let's do all eight. Yep, so mushrooms are done. Let's try the old man's beard that we harvested before. Yep, that works. So it can be stuff that you harvested in the past, which is nice. Let's put all our... all the stuff we have in there. So we need... Old Man's Beard, let's just let's put it all in there. We do have four cattail stalks, so let's put those in there. And all our rose hips. Okay, so our journal's updated. Cool. So you don't only you don't have to harvest them after the quest. You can harvest them before. Let's see what he has to say. Huh. Not bad for a pilot. Yeah. Well, thanks for the help. I think I'm ready to get out of here. I have a little graduation present for you. Oh yeah? Here. Well. Thanks. You've earned it. And I have a feeling you're gonna be needing it before you're through. I have a feeling you might be right. Well that was the end of chapter three, so I'm gonna wrap up this episode. And in the next episode I guess we're going bear hunting. Should be fun. Should be exciting. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you want to get alerted on future videos, and little click the little bell if you want to get an email each time I release an episode. And as always, thanks for watching.